On our journey through the Eastern Sierras, we found a side of California that we didn't expect. You mean like Surf's Up, bro? No, I mean the side that's full of desert and mountains and plenty of snow. We mountain biked, bathed in the warm waters of a nearby hot spring, and had no self-control when it was time for dessert. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. We believe that we have another critter in the car. They are by they dogs. Are dogs. How amazing. Oh, the best. Look at, look at. This is happening. Oh, sorry, doggies. We messed up all your hard work. You're doing good. Good job, dogs. This guy. Good job, buddy. Hey guys! Billy go, Billy go, Billy go. Oh my God. Can you relax? Okay, Nelly, it's over. It's over. They're all gone. No claw, no hand. Guess where we are? Ireland. Scotland. Scotland. Greenland. Greenland, Switzerland. We're out here in Switzerland just having a blast. AKA, we are heading, where are we in Sequoia National Forest yet? Yes. We are in Sequoia, Sequoia National Forest, like the southern side. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Lunch Dog. Vuz. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. It's like cross country type uh, ride. And uh, Melanie's gonna pick me up at the bottom. So we'll see how it goes. Service is spotty. Here I am, still in bed. I'm gonna pick him up in about two hours, three hours. Oh, let's try and then, uh, and then we're gonna hit some hot springs and hope that they're not packed. All right, see you in a couple hours. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground We got some cows Hey bud, it's okay these cows are kind of scary, the one with the horns. The one with the horns is a little bit scary. There's video evidence, I closed the gate. Oh God, I got more in front of me. As you know, Evan rode off. He's doing like 25 miles or something. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. But uh, Penelope's anxiously awaiting his arrival, huh? You're just like, where is he? What are you doing? 
Go to the front. Go. Go to the front. She speaks English. If I I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down My ride's come to an end I'm about to show you guys the, the sexiest uh, shuttle driver in all the land Oh, there she is. Hi! Oh, Jules. I'm surprised she got out of bed. Me? <laughs> I even made the bed. I cleaned. No. I didn't cook. Lunch tacos. We're going to uh, Miracle Hot Spring here. Should be a crowd, so I don't know. This might be our last video. We're still walking there. It's important to note that we were at in Hot Springs two days ago, and there were two naked men, yeah. older men, who offered us some marijuana. See, it's not bad once you get in. No, it's not. I'm really gonna want to rinse off after this one, though. There's a bunch of different pools here, and the top ones are a little big. A little bit warm. We bathed in the warm waters of the Miracle Hot, Hot Spring. Uh -huh. And now we're looking for a campground. There's tons around here, but we just want to pick the right one. Well, Evan said it's supposed to get windy tonight. Mm -hmm. So um, we've camped up on this mountain road two nights earlier this week. But it was a little breezy and it wasn't even like a windy night. So, yeah. Uh, Basically, it's supposed to be like 25, 30 miles per hour winds. So. But it had, oh no, I guess it was really breezy out there a second ago. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go to a trail that's a little further north, but then that means we need to drive like an hour today. An hour so, I don't know. We're going to try to go up north and uh, find a campsite. So, we'll see how it goes. Where did we go yesterday? Uh, Evan's Kitchen every day. No, the Bargain Outlet Grocery Market. <laughs> <laughs> and we found and these like food these little things called Aussie Bites for like y'all this place was like the dollar store but with good food <laughs> oh yeah they had Justin's almonds I don't know if you've looked at them but they had them for seven dollars typically they're thirteen dollars anyway yeah. van life getting fancy yeah. and look at this fancy situation chocolate chips on a mango Ooh, this fancy meal turned into like a true meal. Listen, what do we have? just some Aussie bikes. Heating them up. See how they is. With almond butter and banana and chocolate chips and granola. Yeah, just threw some things together. This looks so good. What is it? This is uh, cauliflower tacos with a little kale leaf and sauteed and some cashew cheese with some salsa. Ready to dig in. I told Evan to make my taco for me to build it because I tend to get a little hot. What do I say? I tend to you get a little... It. Huh? You overfill it. Yeah. I, I load it up. Turns into a burrito. Okay, bye. Even if the sky is falling down if this is zooming in but we just went from here and ultimately we were trying to get here and this squiggly road was not easy we got to here right there and then wait and then no snow up until now I don't know if you can see but we, we would definitely have to go over some ice and we're not we're not trying to put our chains on you know what I'm saying
So another night in the van. Penelope has the whole bed to herself. Melanie's in the front seat trying to get service. Yes. And uh, I'm just cooking it up, cooking it up in the kitchen. We believe that we have another critter in the car. We hear a noise coming from where Nelly's food area is up above the, just to the right of the shower up there. So we're gonna take out some traps and see, uh, see what happens here. Hopefully it goes better than last time. <laughs> so we set the traps. Um, we learned our lesson from last time. We hope, I don't know, I guess we'll see. We'll see how this goes, but. Um, we learned yeah. our lesson, I don't know. I... We're, in, we're in Alabama Hills, which is the desert. I hope up until this point that you guys thought that we were just crazy hearing things. And we may still be. Maybe no, kinda... maybe it was a ghost that punctured a hole in Penelope's food bag. <laughs> However, we have now retrieved the food bag and there is indeed a hole. <sighs> so now, unfortunately, we've gone through this before. Mouse again, number two. And the tactic is, this time we have mouse traps. The tactic is we sit, we wait, <laughs> and we listen quietly. Mm. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's confirmed we have a visual. It's in the top right, up by the yoga mat. We put a trap up there. With almond butter? With almond butter, and it probably wasn't the wisest idea. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Oh my god, I'm thinking this time uh, I may put too much almond butter on there. And he's just eating it from the edges. We can see his tail, but he doesn't appear to be stuck or anything. He's definitely not doing the squealing I expected. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I think we caught it. But he's stuck, huh? You guys, he's, wait, wait, wait. He's like, But now, and, and now what? So when we get him, we remove him from the vicinity, and then what are we moving? What do you mean? Spots? Oh no. No. Why? We're just gonna hope he doesn't have friends. Yeah. Stop, you can't go down there. You're not very good at mice hunting. So the first time with the uh, mouse, Penelope was sound asleep. 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. This time, she's alert. And then we think it's because it took some of Nelly's food. And you don't take some of Nelly's food. No, you don't. <laughs> I think I was wearing this exact same shirt last time, so I might have to burn this shirt. Live from the battlefield. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been having a freak out moment. <laughs> He only had one leg on his trap and he like tried to hit it under a yoga mat through the wall and it was like his leg was still hanging on and then I was like, yo, come on back, come on back. And I'm like, pulled him and he was like stretching, he was like holding on for dear life. We can't post this video because PETA <laughs> and personal problems. <laughs> Anyways, I got another trap and put it up there and I think he's on it now. And now and Penelope, Lord, she good. settles down for a second and then she's like, wait. I think she actually has eyes on it this time. Will you put the camera up there? No. Wait, for our own personal footage. <sighs> Equally as hard as locating the mouse and catching the mouse is disposing of the mouse. He is still in that little overhead compartment. Evan has retrieved some ski gloves and a double bag. I can't even pick it up because I have ski gloves. <laughs> Our 
R.I.P. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have nervous laughter issues. We made it this far and hit a road closure as has happened with every single mountain road we've tried to go down here in the Eastern Sierra mountains. So here's Evan tying his shoe to get him ready to go up this icy road about a mile or two to the lake. And then we'll probably turn around because the cool hike is then another five miles in. Walking on ice is not my strong skill. So walking back down this is gonna be interesting. Oh shit! I feared for my life! Slow down! Get it, you're a beast. <laughs> So this is Sabrina Lake. Appears to be a little chilly. People walked out there. That's scary. What do you think? I don't know anything about frozen lakes and what's safe and what's not, so I'm not gonna risk it. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Melanie's been itching for a hike. I have been. All the hikes in the area have been uh, kind of. They're open. The roads just are closed. Well, inac <laughs> inaccessible. You know, you gotta like hike up the road for. Like X, six miles before. X amount of miles before getting to the trail. And then the trail is obviously covered in snow. So. True that. Anyway, this one was no different. However, the walk on the road was shorter than all the others. And the lake was right at the end of the road. So we said, it. why the heck not? Let's go for it. Uh -huh. The frozen lake. This trail is 100% in the, in the sun, exposed to the sun. And... We're still stepping in like a full foot of snow at times. All right. Whoa. All right. I don't know if I can get out now. I think we get it, Melanie. There's there's snow on the ground. Now there's snow in my socks. So now, me, Melanie's trying to beg me to come back when there's not snow, so we can do all these hikes, but. You There's guys, so much to do, so much Google to Maps, see. Go to go to like the Mount Whitney general vicinity and look at the massive amount of lakes and beauty. And they're all like 30 miles in. <laughs> so we need to backpack, which I've been wanting to do ever since Havasu and all of my pain from Havasu went away. <laughs> <laughs> Going up is hard, going down, however. This is a road that is converted into a sheet of ice. Could I have talked any slower? <laughs> converted anyway. by nature. By nature. Oh. Um, 
Don't be surprised if there's video footage later on of me just scooting down on my butt, especially towards the bottom. It's Valentine's Day. I asked Melanie to be my Valentine and she said yes, so. <laughs> We're gonna go out here to some bouldering site and we don't have mats and we've never bouldered and... Outside of a gym. And there's a bunch of people here with mats on their back walking up the hill, so I don't know. And we'll Penelope see how it goes. Crazy. But Penelope wants to get out there, so catch you out there. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Yay! This is the best Wait, date I've ever been on. Hold it. Oh. I guess because your hands are full of poop? No, well, I'm just finishing my job here. <laughs> this is our bottom portion of the port potty. We've, uh... And, uh we're just getting it all clean up in here. We've been having to dump in untraditional locations that don't have water to rinse the bottom portion, so we haven't rinsed it in a little bit, and it needs a serious cleaning. See, hopefully this one's a little better. This is rinse number four. Bishop, California. And we just have to try this bakery. It's called Eric Schatz. <laughs> My dad's name is Eric, so. It's probably Schatz. It's uh S C H A T Schatz. 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 That's Schatz. I'm gonna go Schatz. I don't know, we're gonna see what his Schatz like. Pastries for days. Oh, look at all these cookies. <laughs> Butter bricks. Oh, I, I can't hear you. Which one should we get? No. Okay. We got some bread. We got. Just look inside so I don't have to pull it all out. A raisin cinnamon roll. I couldn't help myself. And, and we got whoa. a cannoli with es um, espresso cream. Espresso cream filled cannoli. And the bread was is made with uh, Eastern Sierra well water. Whoa, wow. High Sierra well water. High Sierra well water. So that's the, good. that's the world famous bread right it's there. Be good guys. We don't know anything about Bishop, but after spending a few days here, I think people really like this town. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, the mountains are covered in snow, so it seems like it's bouldering season, bruh. Everywhere we go, it's boulders everywhere. Where are we heading? Now we are headed to Death Valley, eventually. 